and my refuge, well, my Savior. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my strength and my shield. Mm -hmm. My heart trusts in him, and I'm helpful. Mm -hmm. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices with my song. I will praise him. When the enemy comes in like a flood, well, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Mm -hmm. We may boldly say the Lord is my help. Mm -hmm. I will not fear what, can, what man can do to me. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Yes, sir. Whom shall I fear? Mm -hmm. The Lord is the strength of my life. Mm -hmm. Of whom shall I be afraid? Mm -hmm. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, mm -hmm. so the Lord surrounds his people. Yeah. From this time forth and forever. Because you have been my help. Therefore in the shadow of your wings. I will rejoice. For your name's sake. Lead me. And guide me. Well, mm -hmm. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Our Father. Mm -hmm. And our God. Yes, sir. I thank you oh God for being a God that helps us. And sustains us. Yes. When we need you. Mm -hmm. You are there. Mm -hmm. When we are alone. You are near. When we don't know which way to go, Come on. you guide us. Yeah. And I say, have mercy, my Lord. Mm -hmm. I thank you, oh God, for, for your goodness thank you. and your help. Mm -hmm. And you know something, Lord? You, you, you never take a vacation well, from our lives. Yeah. And I said, thank you. Thank you. you don't rest when we're sleeping. Mm -hmm. And I say, have mercy, my Lord. Mm -hmm. And you don't leave us on our own. But when we call on you for help, you be right there. Mm -hmm. And even if we don't call on you, out of your great mercy, mm -hmm. you will help us anyhow. Well, and I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, I just thank you, oh God, for protecting us and watching over us and just keeping us safe. Mm -hmm. You've been good to us, Lord. Mm -hmm. And then, Lord, I just want to pray for those that are sick this morning. Mm -hmm. I ask you to bless those that are sick. Put your loving arms around. Yeah. I ask you to bless all the bereaved friends. Mm -hmm. Please, yeah. Lord. Mm -hmm. Wipe the tears from their eyes and let them know they can lean on you right. during these times, oh Lord. Yeah. And oh Lord, just continue to bless our church family, yeah. each and every one of us, oh Lord. Yeah. Just hold us in your hand. Uh -huh. And just let them know if you just keep on holding on to yeah. everything going to be all right. Yeah. So we just thank the Lord for this for where you have brought us from. Yeah. Brought us from last year, this time, to this present month. Yeah. And I just want to say much obliged, Lord. We, we, we didn't know what was going on. We couldn't understand this virus then. But Lord, you've been good to us. Yes, sir. And I can testify because I'm still standing here this morning. Yes, sir. And I just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you've been good to us. Yes, sir. Yeah. Continue to bless our pastor, bless yeah. the deacons of this church, yeah. every officer. Yeah. Keep them strong, oh Lord. Yes, sir. Let them know that if they just look to the hills from which they help come from, You'll make everything all right. Yeah. Well, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Good morning, one and all. Good morning. And it's a, a mighty fine day to be yes, yet sir. still among the land of the living. Yes, sir. Amen. And we know, well, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you. It's nothing that we've done so great. Yes, sir. That we're still here. Amen. It's only through the grace of God mm -hmm. that he saw fit. Mm -hmm. To touch with that thing of love this morning and wake us up. Yes, sir. And I thank him, and I thank him for you. Yes, sir. But you are most welcome to the Tunnel Grove and Sand Hill Baptist Church's Sunday service this Amen. morning. Amen. And I hope you enjoy yourself and get some uplifting words of wisdom. Because yes. we have a fine pastor here, and he does a, a tremendous job. Amen. If Amen. You listen, you might. Walk away with a little something. Amen. Well, this morning I have a little story. Uh, there was this young, very young preacher. He had just gotten called to a mega church in a mega city, a big large city. Mm -hmm. He was from a little small town. So he had gotten there and he was getting acclimated with his surroundings and all of that. And it came up that a pauper very hom a homeless poor man had passed and they were going to bury him in what they call the pauper's cemetery. Mm -hmm. So the city asked that pastor, the pastor of the mega church, would he come and say a few words at the cemetery over the man. He didn't have any family and friends, didn't have anybody. So the pastor decided well, that'd be good training for my a new assistant. So he told him about it, he sent him. Well, the day of the service, he was 
running around trying to find, he wasn't too familiar with the town. So he was looking and he messed around, he got lost. Mm -hmm. And an hour later, he found the cemetery and he, he saw the grave and he got out and went to the car one hour later. And he noticed when he got there that the grave diggers were sitting over underneath a tree eating lunch. Mm -hmm. And he looked in the, in the grave and they had already put the cap on the ball. Mm. He said, well, nothing to be outdone. And they, the hearse wasn't nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. And he knew he was terribly late. So he said, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna be outdone. I'm gonna do my best for this, for this soul. Mm -hmm. So he prayed and he did a fire and brimstone send off All right. for this individual. He, he felt pretty good about that. And then on his way back to his car. He heard one of the workers over there say, man, I've been doing septic tanks for 20 years and I ain't never seen nothing like that. <laughs> Good morning. Just somebody say it's your name. Up the road is eternal game.
and share with you on this day that the Lord has made. And as we come this morning, we are still reminding all of us that the Lord is still in the blessing business and that he's still blessing each one of us each day of our lives. Amen. All we got to do is to keep our eyes on the Lord. Mm -hmm. And if we keep our eyes on the Lord, I believe everything shall be all right. Amen. Amen. As we come this morning, we want to share with you from New Testament teaching mm -hmm. from the book of John, John chapter 4 and verses 46 through 53. John chapter 4, verses 46 mm -hmm. through 53. Let us look and see what it is that this writer is sharing with us on this day that the Lord has made. Mm -hmm. Again, John chapter 4, mm -hmm. starting with verse number 46. So Jesus came again into Canaan mm -hmm. of Galilee, where he made the water wine. Mm -hmm. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus was come out of Judea into Galilee, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, uh -huh. for he was at the point of death. Uh -huh. Then said Jesus unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. The nobleman said unto him, Sir, come in, my child die. Uh -huh. Jesus said unto, him, said unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. The man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him and went his way. And as he was going, now going down, his servant met him and told him, saying, Thy son lived. Mm -hmm. Then inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend. Mm -hmm. And they said unto him, Yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him. Mm -hmm. So the father knew that it was at the same hour, same hour. and the which Jesus said unto him, Thy son liveth, mm -hmm. and himself believed, and his whole house whole believed. Mm -hmm. Amen. The word of God for the children of God. All right. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we come this morning, come with thanksgiving, come thanking you for the blessings that you have already bestowed mm -hmm. upon us. Thank you, sir, that things are as well as they are. Yes. Father, it has gotten to be preaching time. Mm -hmm. We ask that you give us a word to give to your children that will uplift spirits because in times like this, we need some uplifting. Just come and have your way. Mm -hmm. And however you bless us, we shall be all right. In your name we do pray. Amen. Amen. From the four red scripture, this morning I want to talk from the subject the stages of faith. Mm -hmm. All right. The stages Amen. of faith. All right, preacher. Now, as we begin to look at this lesson, we have a nobleman, a man that worked for the government. Mm -hmm. He probably held some high position in Herod's court. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, I'm telling you, he was somebody. As a result, this lesson shares before five stages of faith. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we believe all Christians at some point in their lives will experience all five of these stages of faith. Uh -huh. well, By experience, mm -hmm. all five of these stages of faith have shown growth in your walk mm -hmm. with the Lord. Mm -hmm. All of us out to show some growth. Our walk with the Lord is involved in growing. When you get started, a few days past, you ought to begin to show a little bit of growth. Amen. And as more and more days pass, we ought to be able to show a little growth. Well, as Christians, we don't stay at the same place forever, y'all. Mm -hmm. And I, I need to tell somebody that, because some of the things we just gone, we start at one, and we end up at one. Amen. I need to tell you, serving the Lord, there's growth in it, y'all. Yes, there is growth in serving the Lord. So, in a part of our growth, we got to grow in faith. 
And if we move like the Lord said we should move, then we will grow in faith. If we do those things that the Lord tell us to do, then we will grow in faith. Mm -hmm. And somebody will be able to see your growth, y'all. And the stages of faith, there are five points that I wish to share with you this morning about the stages of faith. And as we get started, first, let's look at what is faith. We talk about faith all the time in the church, but what is faith? Do we know what faith is? Let's look a moment or two and see what we can find out about faith. All right. One of the first definitions that I found of faith said, complete trust mm -hmm. or confidence in someone or something. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's one definition. That sounds all right. Yeah. But I kept on reading. And I read somewhere where it says, a second definition, a strong belief in God well, or in the doctrine of religion amen. based on spiritual apprehension rather than truth. Uh -huh. And I, I like that one. We'll call, I like that part that said, without proof. Amen. That, that's something you just got to learn for yourself. Mm -hmm. But that I didn't stop there, I kept on reading. I came up with another definition that said, a system of religious beliefs. Mm -hmm. A system of religious belief. I kept on reading and I came up with another definition. And it said that faith is a strongly held belief or theory. Mm -hmm. All of these are definitions for faith. Mm -hmm. And all we are talking about is our belief in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And in times like this, we need some faith in the Lord. Amen. Right? Yeah, yeah. And in reading, there was some synonyms that came up for the word faith. Mm -hmm. And some of the synonyms that came up for the word faith were trust. Mm -hmm. Do you trust the Lord? Amen. Amen. Another one was belief. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. believe the Lord? Yes, yeah, sir. Another one was having confidence. Do you have confidence in the Lord? Amen. That the Lord can work some things out. A, another synonym was conviction. That, saying that the Lord and his word can convict mm -hmm. you and let you know what you're saying. All right. That's one of the things about serving the Lord, y'all. Mm -hmm. He'll let you know whether you're on the right road or on the road. Or All right. wrong road. Another one says faith is, uh, another word for faith is dependence. Mm -hmm. If you serve in the Lord and you say he's your all in all, you ought to be able to depend on the man. Yes, mm -hmm. Another one says that faith is nothing more than optimism. And I like that one, y'all. Mm -hmm. Optimism. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes some of us are suffering needlessly mm -hmm. because we got a bad outlook on yeah, life. Man, Maybe man. if we change yeah, our outlook and have a better look on life, We'll be feeling a little bit better, y'all. Mm -hmm. Then another synonym was hopefulness. I need to tell you when you serve the Lord, y'all, I got hope then. Mm -hmm. right. My burden might be heavy, but I still got some hope. Yeah. Yeah. Expectation was another word. By serving the Lord and being faithful to the Lord and holding on to him, the Lord will make a way for mm -hmm. I got that expectation. That he's going to work it out, y'all. Yes, I might be going through right now, but everything's going to be all right well, sooner or later. Yes, sir. I heard the old folks say, he might not come when I want him to come. Mm -hmm. But when he does come, he's going to be dead on time. Yeah, amen. And I tell y'all something, and when he comes, y'all, he's going to take care of business. Yes, sir. You just got to have a little faith. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Now, that's what the dictionary said about faith. But then I turn to Hebrew 11 and 1. Mm -hmm. And it got something to say about faith. Listen to what Hebrew chapter 11 and verse number 1 says. Now faith is the substance uh -huh. of things hoped for. Uh -huh. The evidence of things not seen. Uh -huh. And I need to tell you, if you serve the Lord, the Lord can work out some things. You just are not able to comprehend mm -hmm. your mind. But the Lord will work it out. Yes, and then I sometimes sort of look back and wonder, yes, how did I make it over? Amen. I know Thank the you. Lord worked it out for you. Yes, you just got to have a little faith 
in the night. Mm -hmm. As we move into this lesson, the first stage of faith is beginning faith. Mm -hmm. mm, really? Beginning faith. In verses 46 through 47, it helps us to understand beginning faith. In all things, there got to be a beginning. Yes, there got to be a starting point. Mm -hmm. So in our faith, there's a starting point. Mm -hmm. And as we look at this lesson that is set before, we see Jesus as he enters Canaan. Mm -hmm. And as he enters Canaan, <coughs> there's a noble man, mm -hmm. an official of the king's royal court. Mm -hmm. He comes and he approaches Jesus. Mm -hmm. This uh, demonstrates to us that somewhere this man had heard something about Jesus yeah, huh? and he is thinking I, 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 I need some help because I'm going through something I'm dealing with something and I need some help and he come to Jesus right. I, I need to stop there and tell us in the time that we are living when you need help you need to go to Jesus, y'all. Yeah, yes, sir. See, yeah. many of us, we'll go to everybody else mm -hmm. but Jesus, y'all. Yeah. We let Jesus be the last one we go to. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you, he ought to be the first one. All right. When you need some help, you go to Jesus. Mm -hmm. So this man, he was official. He was somebody, in other words, y'all. Mm -hmm. And he was looked up to. But he needed some help, and he came to Jesus. All right. That, that's, that's what... Beginning faith is all about coming to Jesus. There are di different situations, some desperate situations that I have happened that are bring you to Jesus, mm -hmm. y'all. I'm here to tell you, there's some things, y'all, that are happening to you, and you ain't never had your mind on the Lord. Well, when they happen, then all of a sudden you said, I believe I'm going to try Jesus. Yes, sir. It's going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. This man, he had heard about Jesus again. He is an important man in the government, mm -hmm. but he's dealing with a desperate situation. Yes, sir. Yes, he, he, he's dealing with some, and some of us are dealing with some All stuff right. right now, y'all. Yeah. Amen. But you might need to do like this man. You might need to come to Jesus. All right. right. Now, let's look at it. We are able to see. The scripture says this man's son is laying at the point of death. Yeah, right, right, right. And he has done everything he knew to do, and his son ain't got no bear. Uh -huh. So he decided that I need to come to Jesus. And maybe Jesus can make a difference in my son's life and in my life. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I, I used to hear my mom and my daddy talk about, well. Uh, when trouble hit the children, they get sick. It'll bring about a difference in your life. Yes, yes, you you right. might be a little tough on yourself when things, but when it hit them children, yes. all of a sudden, y'all, you start doing some stuff you might not been doing in the past, y'all. Amen. So we see this man, when his son is lying at the point of death, he decides that I need to come to Jesus. Yes. That's the beginning of faith there, y'all. For there is a desperate need. And again, his son is laying at the point of death. Mm -hmm. He needs to get some comfort for his son. And he needs to do all that he can to help bring about some comfort for his son. Mm -hmm. So some kind of way, he had heard about Jesus. Well, and he decided, I'm going to go to Jesus and see, can I get some help? Begin to faith. You got to go to Jesus and see if you can get some help, y'all. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, let you in on the secret. If he help others, he'll help you. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. If he help others, he'll help you. Yes, sir. Brother Preacher, why, why are you saying that? I say that because the Bible says God does not have respected persons. Mm -hmm. So again, if he help me, he'll help you, y'all. Yes, Begin in faith. Allow you to come to Jesus. So I'm glad that this hey. man came to Jesus. I'm sorry that his son was lying at the point of death, but that took him, took that to bring him to Jesus, y'all. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, that's why we have some of the rough spots we have in life, because we need to come to Jesus. Amen. So beginning faith is that of coming to Jesus. And when you come to Jesus, and Jesus begins to share with you, don't turn a deaf ear to Jesus. Well, because it might bring about something you don't want to happen. Mm -hmm. 
So begin in faith. If that are coming to Jesus and uh, talking with him and getting help from him. So this man came to Jesus. Not only did he come to Jesus, but he begged Jesus to heal his son. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. See, some of us done got sophisticated. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to beg nobody no more, y'all. Mm -hmm. But I need to tell you, when something happens to this old body of mine, Come on, I don't mind begging the Lord and have mercy on y'all. Yeah, when Amen. things start going wrong in my life, I don't mind begging the Lord to help smooth those rough places Amen. out, y'all. If you beg the right one, something just might happen. Yes, sir. So this man, he heard about Jesus. He came to Jesus and he asked him, or begged him to lift up his soul. Mm -hmm. That's the first stage of faith, y'all. Listen at Jeremiah 17 and 7. He says, blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. Mm -hmm. I wonder do I have anybody that got some hope in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going through dealing with this pandemic and things are beginning to look a little better, y'all. Yes, sir. But we still got to trust in the Lord mm -hmm. and still got to have faith in the Lord, y'all. Mm -hmm. It ain't over with it, y'all. Talking about the stages of faith. The second stage of faith is, had, is called persistent faith. Mm -hmm. There it is in verses 48 and 49. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus teaches this man. The man came to him. He got confidence in the, in, in the, in the Lord. Mm -hmm. But the Lord needs to teach him a little bit, y'all. Uh -huh. So teaching needs to be done around here, y'all. Yes, sir. So that we can learn more about Jesus Christ. All right. So Jesus explained to this man and told him some things about him. When he comes to the Lord, we do not always know what is this, y'all. Amen. See, them old folk used to pray in their prayer. Mm -hmm. Lord, not my will, be done, but thy will. Yes, sir. Lord. Yes, sir. See, that's, that's the way we got to do it now. And we got uh, this faith in the Lord, y'all. Persistent faith. And whatever other kinds of faith that we got in the Lord, we, we got to let it come forth. So this man come to Jesus, and Jesus began to teach him, began to tell him the thing. And I'm here to tell you, whatever the Lord tells you, you got to do it God's way. Uh -huh. It ain't my way, it ain't your way, it's God's way. Amen. So the Lord began to teach this man. And the man said to Jesus, come down and heal my son. Yes, sir. Jesus does not have to come down to heal no one, y'all. Amen. Oh, y'all. Come on, preach Amen. I, I said he don't have to come down to heal nobody. Yes, sir. He can just speak the word. The word. And it'll yes, happen, y'all. Yes, sir. So here, this man uh, tells Jesus about the situation and about what's going on with his son. Mm -hmm. He can heal by long distance. He mm -hmm. got long distance phone call. Mm -hmm. But when you call the Lord, that's long distance too, yeah, y'all. No. So again, he does not have to come down. I heard somebody say, he already down, y'all. Yes, sir. Now, you might not, not acknowledge him, but he's in our presence right now. Right now, yes, sir. He's right there, and he can work out some things. And I need to tell you, when you come to the Lord, yeah. and you need some help, don't try to bargain with the Lord, y'all. You just tell him what your situation is Amen. and let him work it out. All right. See, so many of us are used to bargaining with one another. Yeah. You give me one potato, and the next week I give you two potatoes. Uh -huh. You just tell the Lord what you need right now. Yeah. Amen. And let him work it out, y'all. Amen. This is the way God works. This man is help because he was persistent and asked. For him. Well, yeah. well. You and I got to ask for help, y'all. Mm -hmm. And if you ask for him, the Lord will take care of your needs. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you, be persistent. Mm -hmm. Some of us got this thing. So, well, I'm going to pray one time. Uh -huh. If he don't do it, then I'm going to leave it alone. Uh -huh. I'm going to do different than that, y'all. Amen. I I'm going to pray one time. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened. I'm going to pray again, y'all. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened. I'm going to keep on praying, y'all. Until right. something happened one way or another. Yes, sir. Be persistent. Amen. And we are able to see that this man, he was hurting because he knew his son was at the point of death. Mm -hmm. And he wanted some help. He kept on asking the Lord. He was persistent and asking the Lord for some help. Mm -hmm. And when you persist, 
this show that you are growing in your faith. Yes, and sir. See, that's saying something about your faith, God, when you're persistent. I ain't gonna turn away, Lord. Uh, you might not come like I want you to come and do mm -hmm. like I want you to do, but I know when you do show up, everything's gonna be all right. This is saying something about your faith in the Lord, y'all. Yeah, yeah. So this man, mm -hmm. he was persistent, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's what we got to do. Listen to Matthew 7, verses 7 through 8, talking about being persistent. Well, ask. And it shall be given. Mm -hmm. Seek, and he shall find. Well, not, and it shall be opened unto you. Yes, For everyone that asks, receive. Mm -hmm. And he that seeketh, find. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Amen. So notice that it is said not one time. Mm -hmm. It is said how many times? Mm -hmm. You just keep on knocking mm -hmm. until you get some help, y'all. Yes, sir. All I'm talking about is the stages of faith. Mm -hmm. Then the next stage of faith, stage three, is obedient faith. And I like this one here in obedient faith. Well, in this stage, Jesus gives the man some instruction. Mm -hmm. One of the things he told the man, go that way. He done told him about his son uh -huh. who land at the point of death. He done told him so. And Jesus tell him, go that way. That is a version of 50. Go that way. Yeah. Thy son live was the promise that Jesus gave his name. Mm -hmm. So he told him, go your way, uh -huh. and your son going to be all right. Well, Some of us are missing out because we do not believe and will not follow God's instruction. Amen. Middle, we got to do it our way, y'all. Yes, and that's why some are suffering like we suffer. Are we doing it our way? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, when you walk by faith, this third step, so you got to be obedient to the word of God, y'all. Mm -hmm. Whatever God said do, and however he said do, we got to do it that way. Mm -hmm. Then we began to see the Lord begin to make some, make some things happen in our lives. Uh -huh. Then I heard somebody say, obedience mm -hmm. is better than sacrifice. Well, so we need obedient faith. Be obedient to the word of the Lord. Then Proverbs even takes it a little farther. Mm -hmm. For Proverbs 3 and 5, I see. Trust in the Lord mm -hmm. with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. Amen. So here the writer is telling us, whatever the Lord said, you ain't got to figure it out. You just do it, y'all. No, y'all miss that. Come on, I said, yeah. whatever the Lord said, you just do that. Yes. And the Lord got you then, y'all. Yes, sir. We're talking about the stages of faith. Mm -hmm. And the first, uh, fourth stage of faith is confirmed faith. Mm -hmm. It is found in verses 51 through 53. Mm -hmm. Notice the words, as he was now going. Mm -hmm. The man is now obeying Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus has told us a thing, and now the man is obeying what Jesus has mm -hmm. told him to do. Mm -hmm. He has received word. That his son is not a heathen. Mm -hmm. Think about how that man must have felt, y'all. Now, sir, has come from his home and come and told him, Sir, your son is all right. He's mm -hmm. not a heathen. This shows the importance of obeying Jesus. When you obey Jesus, somebody will be healed, y'all. Yeah, yes, sir. Sir. But you got to obey Jesus. Uh -huh. You see, both believing and obeying Jesus is essential in getting help from the Lord. This man checked up on Jesus, y'all. Yes, y'all know how we are. We really got to check up on stuff, uh -huh. We want to find out, did it really happen like it did? Yes. So this man asked one of his servants, mm -hmm. said, now, what time was my boy healed yes, on yesterday? Mm -hmm. And he, the servant told him when his son was healed. And that was the same time yes, that sir. Jesus had told him that he had healed the son. All right, preacher. I need to tell you, the God that we serve, uh -huh. you got to have that kind of faith that believe when he says he's going to do it, he's going to do it, y'all. Right. And if he give you a time limit, he's he going to keep to his time limit, y'all. Yes, he ain't like me. I might tell you I'll be there at 12 o'clock. Yes, but I might get there two minutes after 12. Mm -hmm. Or I might get there at 12 or 30, y'all. But God give you a time limit. He's going to keep to his time limit, y'all. So confirm faith. Man had to get some confirmation yes. that his son had been healed. Jesus had told him he was healed. Now he get confirmation from the servant. And the same time, Jesus told him that he was healed. 
That's what he happened, y'all. Amen. So the man got confirmation now. John 11 and 22 said, mm -hmm. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou will ask of God, God will give it thee. Yes, I ain't here to tell you, if it isn't the will of the Lord, the Lord will take care of you. Amen. But you got to have confirmation faith, though, y'all. Mm -hmm. Then we go on a little farther. Then the last stage of faith is a witnessing faith. It's in verses 53 through 54. Mm -hmm. After the healing of his son, mm -hmm. this man could not keep this news to his mm -hmm. He could not keep it to himself, and he went on and shared the story with those that are around. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you the time that we are living. You ought to share when the Lord is good. Amen. When the Lord bless you, share it with somebody. Mm -hmm. Because that will pick up somebody else, y'all. Mm -hmm. you, you got to have this sharing faith. Mm -hmm. Just don't keep it all to yourself. Let mm -hmm. others know how good God is to you. And some, I can hear some of y'all saying, well, real, ain't that let really everybody know your business? No, it ain't letting everybody know your business. You just telling the others that the Lord be good to you. That he done brought you from a mighty long way. Amen. You just telling others that well, what the Lord has done for you. you. You might be able to tell somebody, well, I had a bill downtown and I, I didn't have no money, but I talked to the Lord about And lo and behold, I got something in the mail the other day and I was able to pay my bill. You know? That ain't necessarily telling you. You just telling what the Lord done for you. Know? Faith, yeah, if you yeah. want to help others to come over on the Lord's yeah, side, uh -huh. when the Lord bless you, tell somebody because somebody is out there. They need somebody to tell them everything is going to be all right. Yes, sir. They need somebody to tell them that Jesus can make a way out of nowhere. They need somebody to tell them that Jesus is a battle light in the time of battle. Y'all did know he is a battle light in the time of battle. Well, so I'm here to tell you when the Lord bless us. Sometimes we need to share it with other folks. Yes, because it will reach down and pick somebody up, y'all. You just don't know some of the things that some of our brothers and sisters are going through with y'all. But we ain't witnessing to nobody. Ain't telling nobody about what the Lord has done for us. I'm here to testify today that the Lord be good to this little country boy. Yes, sir. He has brought him from a mighty long way. Well, and during my lifetime, there have been some that say he ain't going to amount to nothing. All right. There have been some that say he ain't going to do nothing. But I'm here to tell you, with the help of the Lord, he made a way. So I don't need to keep it to myself. I need to tell others the Lord bless me. And if he bless me, he'll bless you, God. All right. Because he does not have a respect. So we need a witness in faith. We need to tell somebody about Jesus. We need to tell somebody what Jesus has done for us. Yes, sir. Amen. And the Lord be good to each and every one of us. Yes, sir. Amen. And that's brought from a mighty long way. Yes, sir. You know, sometimes I look back over my life and I think about it. A little country boy like me from Johnson County. The Lord be good to me. Oh, yeah. God brought me a long way. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. That he would bless me like he done Amen. Me, yeah. And I need to let somebody know mm -hmm. he's been good to me. Mm -hmm. And he'll be good to you, y'all. Yeah. We just got to follow this plan of witnessing and sharing with others. Let them know what the Lord can do. Well, And I need to tell you, he worked miracles in the biblical day. And the God I serve, he's still working. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's still working out some things. Yes, sir. There's still some folk that come out of some stuff. They ought not to be able to come out of y'all. But by the grace of God, he'll bring you out, y'all. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. There's some. The doctor done walked up to that bedside mm -hmm. and done told them, mm -hmm. I done done all I can do for mm -hmm. yeah. I can't do you no good. Yeah. Ain't no help for you. Mm -hmm. But some of them, I heard some testimony. Some folks said, I was on my deathbed, but the Lord raised me up. Yes, sir. Witnessing for the Lord. Yes, sir. We got to have that kind of faith. Just don't keep it to yourself. Amen. Here in 2021, mm -hmm. we need to share our faith. Mm -hmm. We need to talk to somebody about mm -hmm. uh, the Lord. And I can hear some of y'all. I can read you now. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't talk to everybody about the Lord. I know you're right. But then you can do. Yes, sir. And that might. Is that it might be a blessing for you, y'all. Amen. Talking about the stages of faith. Yeah. The Lord is still 
in the blessing. Amen. 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 We're going to stop here at seeing the invitation. There might be somebody on this Sunday. I want to come over on the Lord's side. Mm -hmm. This is a great Sunday to come to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Just come as you are. Don't try to get things straightened out yourself and all. You just come as you are. And so, Lord, here I am. And the God that we serve, He will lead you and guide you in the way that you are to go. And if you're looking for a church home, get in church with me. We will help you to go wherever you need to go. We will get you the information. Because we are living in critical times. Amen. Time is winding on down. So we invite you to call us, get in touch with us, mm -hmm. and we'll do all that we can to help you to become a member of God's church. Mm -hmm. May the Lord bless you. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit and the love of Jesus Christ go and abide with you wherever you go. This is our prayer. Amen. 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 Great nation.